Alright guys, Jack here with Crystal Clear Arts and my second part of my Call of Duty Multitude series. Um, today we're going to be learning how to do a, um, what's it called, like a sunlight effect. We're going to be playing around with lights in After Effects and it should end up with a nice sun-like effect so it gives like a brighter light around the thing. Um, <coughs> Thanks to Wanted Snipes for providing that amazing clip there. Um, okay, so let's get started. First of all, go to File, Import File, scroll down, <laughs> scroll down if you me, um, and I'll just find the clip. Use this one here, and then drag it into your composition. Zooming on this bit more. Okay, so then all you're gonna do is you're gonna find a point. Um, this I didn't pick the best clip here because it's quite hard to see with it being a bright map. But anyway, let's go. So click this checkbox here to make the layer 3D because the light won't show on anything that's not 3D. Um, and then go to a layer new light and I go for like a nice light blue going across to the white colour over there and just leave it as it is with intensity mindset of that because I normally use around that um, and make sure your light type is point and you don't have to bother about cast shadows because it doesn't really make a difference as it's a video clip okay so then hit ok and as you can see this will happen so now all you're going to do is get your Z which is the little blue one and slowly drag it towards you and you'll see the lights start to get less bright and bring in and there we go and now you can see you're going to get a good point like that there and then you can use your X and Y to drag it around now in the last clip I had it somewhere over here like that but it won't have been that noticeable hopefully while you're watching this now you can see it well though um, on other maps it looks good you can also change the colour of the light although if you use a different colour just drag that across there like that <coughs> you can use a different colour for your light um, but the problem with that is if you do that then obviously the light is reflecting on this so this white here is making this clip a little bit whiter and a bit dark around the edges here as a proper light would do so if you click this tab here go to light options and you choose a strong color so like a strong orange then you'll notice it'll the whole clip will end up looking orange more or less so if i do this here and hit ok as you can see the whole clip ends up looking orangey and you can't really see it that doesn't mean to say that you can't find nice points around it like there that's quite a nice point it shows the light off well so if you move it around and stuff then you get good effect um, also if I put it in the middle of the sky here you can notice it goes from being pretty bland to like a glow so I'm gonna put our light Mm, here at the top there and uh, now what I'm gonna do is if you want that flicker effect at the start of Headshot RX's trailer I think he used I don't know they did it this way but he used a similar effect um, and just go to your animation presets you need twitch uh, presets twitch and it's called blinking you can drag that onto the clip run on to the light layer and now when you move that across then your light will blink and stuff it's a bit too strong there isn't it so just move that up a bit and there you go guys so um, effect controls I mean what you need to do is for the blinking effect you can just oh, give me a second you can grab your clip drag it back in again on top of it it also does look quite nice if you have a color correction on it and go to 
blending mode and change it to screen. Uh, it's not looking that good here because we have a nice colour correction on it, but it does normally look quite nice. And then just drag your blinking onto the bottom layer. And now as you see, you'll get like a nice blinking effect and it'll work well on the light as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Um, please remember to subscribe to my channel. There's a link in the description. Help me get to 1000 subscribers. I'm now also a part of Universal Effects. So I recommend you go check them out. And make sure you subscribe to this channel as I'll be bringing you another tutorial next week.